All right, so today we cracked the lid on the LG V60. A lot of you guys have been waiting on this coverage, so I'm not gonna prolong it. This is a 5G device from LG, their, their latest offering. I like how they give you a little microfiber cloth right off the top, I actually use these. Um, a lot of people went for the dual screen, and before you tell me I'm crazy for not getting the dual screen, I can pick up the dual screen at any time, but I can't pick up this phone out the box. Uh, so I decided to go this color. I think this color is the sexiest. I'm going to get this off here. Like this slide it out. So, so nice to have the white color because I really don't plan on, on buying. Yeah, here we go. I don't plan on buying any kind of cases or anything. Uh, it's got some warnings back here. Let's see what these warnings say. I see an IMEI sticker, so let's get that off. All right, so that's the IMEI sticker. What is this warning back here? The device back cover is a non-removable battery. Oh, <laughs> they got to put a warning on there now for it being a non-removable battery. Okay. So let me tell you folks, I mean, no, no offense to the people who got the other color, that blue color, this color is the one you got this sloping design on the back. So it's just, it's just going to fall into your hand. I'm going to get all these off the edges while I'm talking here. All right. So believe it or not, man, there's like a thousand stickers all over this thing, but here it is. This is the color, this silky white. I just think this is the most beautiful of the two colors. You got this chamfered edges on the side. And this phone, as soon as I picked it up with these metal sides like this, this flat metal sides, it reminded me of uh, the HTC uh, 10, just a bigger version. It's just, this feels really good in the hand. Now, right out the rip, here's where LG is kicking everybody else's butt. You see that thing down there? That's called a headphone jack. And the reason LG keeps bringing that back is because, you know, they have that quad DAC inside. So, uh, you know, this is something that is probably going to remain on some phones from LG, period. They're, they're not going to remove it. You know, they don't, a lot of companies are not releasing flagships with uh, headphone jacks. And unfortunately, uh, that, that, that just is just a sad day, man, because a lot of us have these powerful headphone uh, earbuds and headphones. Uh, and we can't really use them. So I know you know the specs, but I got to do you some justice for those that uh, that don't know the specs. Uh, 6.8 inch 1080p uh, AMOLED display, 5,000 milliamp hour battery. You really can't even tell either. It's pretty nice. Snapdragon 865, 8 gigs of RAM, 120 gigs of storage, two terabyte card can go in here. 64 megapixel main shooter. Yeah. And then you've got an extra ultra wide lens on the back. You can shoot 8K. Uh, you can do 4K time lapse. And you got a 10 megapixel 1.9 aperture on the front. You can do 4K 60 as well. I'm going to test out the 8K. Uh, and this is the, you know, the, the 5G version here. So I think there's only a 5G version, Jay. What are you talking about? So I'm going to get this all set up here. Looking around the device real quick, though. You got your power button, your fire rocker, a microphone, a headphone jack. <laughs> a headphone jack. Type C, another microphone, speaker out, uh, and then you've got a dedicated button. No, let me see. Wait, this might be a power button. Here's the part. Let me see. That's the power button. This is a dedicated button for something else, and I'll figure that out. Look at that beautiful. Oof. Got to pop my SIM card. Oh, I just put my SIM card in there when I went away for a second. But yeah, you've got everything lined up right here, man. This is going to be really nice. You do have that little cutout at the top right there, uh, but it is what it is, man. So I'm going to get this set up. Uh, and then I'll come back and tell you, you know, how I feel about it so far. And then maybe I'll get some, some samples of cameras and stuff. Cause I know it's what you want. Uh, but anyway, just keep watching. And for those that are going to ask, why does the screen look like that? That's the shutter speed on the recording device, man. <laughs> Calm down. Now, before I get going here, I did want to show you as soon as I hit next on the screen, it gives me the option to cut this area away. I can do it like that and you can see what it looks like, or I can do it like this. You get to choose. So there it is. 
So I'm going to play with this for a little bit and I'll come back in a minute. All right, so we're back and I got it all set up. It's pretty much just downloading everything, all of my applications uh, right now. Right off the rip, something I don't like is this big giant border around around the display. It's like, um, this is a 6.8 inch display and it makes the phone feel a lot bigger than what it is. Uh, but ultimately, if you put a certain wallpaper on there or some kind of wallpaper to help black it out, you'll, uh, you'll get the, uh, let me turn this auto off. It'll look a little bit different. So um, we're gonna go into the settings real quick. And this is what the settings looks like. It's obviously got the dark mode. You got the always on display. They have uh, a nice always on display set up. This is their whole setup right here I really like. So let me see if I can switch this, uh, see if I can find the night mode. Yeah, let's turn this back on right here. Get it back to the bright mode so I can see how that looks. You got the video enhancer, um, navigation bar. I can change down here if I want the gestures of the buttons. I personally like the buttons. Some people always say, why do you, they're faster. You know, I don't have to try to figure out anything. Uh, you can go into all these. And this is one thing I like about the LG devices. They have all these different fonts. They have a few more fonts that are ready to go that are actually pretty good. Um, one thing already I can tell that this phone screen is definitely going to be a lot brighter uh, than, let me change this. Let me change this back just for the purpose of this video because I can see a refresh rate on the camera. It's going to be looking a certain way. That should be a little bit better. Uh, but <clears throat> I like that they have a lot of things built in. They have a theme store and everything, just like uh, Samsung and other ones. So you've got network, connected devices, sound. This does have a stereo sound. Uh, and um, I'll be definitely following up with a, a follow-up video on that quad DAC because I have those nice Sony speakers, uh, Sony um, earbuds that I use. Uh, and you got your wallpaper and themes. There's a, a few different... Um, a few different wallpapers in it I really like. I really like this seamless, uh, and uh, I'll, I'll mess with that later, but it's got some themes on here that you could possibly get down with. Uh, this is pretty sweet right here. <laughs> this is good. Cool. Let's apply this theme right here. I like uh, I like Sony's UI. Someone asked about Sony's UI. Would I prefer it over, uh, not Sony, uh, LG's UI. But I prefer it over certain UIs, and I'm like, yeah, you know, you. Uh, it just depends. Uh, but I think Sony has probably one of the best UIs uh, as far as a complete setup right out of the box. But uh, lock screen security, privacy, location. These are just. This is pretty much the the basic rundown of of LG. You know, nothing special here. I'm ready to get into usage uh, and things like that. Performance. This has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery inside. You know, you've got 128 gigs of storage, 34 or 35 of it in use already. 28 gigs of that is the system. That is straight horrible. That's garbage, man. Why, why is LG taking up 28 gigs of the data right away? That's the storage. That's just horrible. Um, it's probably going to be a software update or something in here. I'll check that in a little while. But I want to give you a basic unboxing of the device man just kind of let you see what it looks like when you decide to get yours i personally like the white a lot of people are going for the blue because this color you can't order it when you order it the case the co cover doesn't come with it it's just this color by itself and since i didn't want the cover anyway this was a this is a win-win for me not having to deal with the, i mean some people say oh jay that's the reason the purpose of the phone not necessarily you know, I, mean, I don't I don't have to have the, the dual screen. This is already a really big phone and I don't foresee myself flipping that screen in and out. Uh, I just don't see it happening. Now, one thing I think I feel some type of way about is the fingerprint reader. You've got to press this thing. man. It's not like Samsung's uh, where you just uh oh, where you just press it and then it just unlocks. It's, it's a longer press, basically. So let's try this finger. See what I mean? Samsung's pops open pretty quick. And if you were wondering, this is the size comparison uh, with the next to the Samsung. This this is what I'm talking about, all those borders, those big giant borders that they have on this phone. Look how much bigger it is than the uh, S20 Plus. Remember, this is 6.7. So to make it even better, let me grab the Note 10 Plus real quick because this is another uh, 6.8 inch display. You can get some just of how it is. It's bigger 
then the Note is taller than the Note 10 Plus. This is a huge phone, man. This is a huge phone. Look at how big this thing is. So keep that in mind when you decide to pick this thing up. It's a, it's a big phone. Anybody tells you it's not, mm, they might be trying to just get you hyped about the phone. Uh, but I like the animations and everything. Uh, the fingerprint seems is that it opened up faster that time right there. But <clears throat> ultimately, though, you got to make the choice on what you think is too big. And, you know, I, I personally feel like this is a big, big phone. But it doesn't feel, um, it doesn't feel like the Ultra, the S20 Ultra. It doesn't feel as heavy as you might think it is. And just, you know, just hearing the weight and everything and me showing you how big it is, how tall it is. It's got a narrow feel to it, so, but it's still wide. It's not it's not 20 by 9. It's on the 19 by 5 by 9. So, you know, you, you're getting that bigness, the thickness. And, you know, you have to you have to decide. I'm, I'm, I'm just not going to tell you that it's a small device by any means. It's, it's got some size to it. But I'm going to get this set up and uh, I'll start playing with the cameras and everything. Uh, and, and we'll see how this works out, man. I'm really excited to get my hands on this phone right here, man. It, 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 it's really sweet. I'm really, really going to enjoy this. I know I am. This is what you're getting into if you decide to grab this phone. I'm going to get my icons and everything set up. You know I don't have it set up if I don't have my buy my app in the middle down there. So I'll get this set up. All my uh, apps are now installed that I'm going to install. And uh, this is where we're at, man. This is a beautiful looking device. Hope you guys enjoyed the first impressions. Hands-on, unboxing, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.